Randy Vaughn with YourSchoolMarketing.com. I wanted to share a Twitter tip with you that, frankly, a lot of active Twitter users do not know about. And so whether you may be new to Twitter, uh, you're just now kind of getting on board with your school, how to using Twitter, this, I think, is going to be an opportunity for you to share something with all those people out there who are kind of moaning and groaning and saying, well, I don't want to have to get on Twitter to get the updates, How you know. And so I want to share share an idea with you of how this could possibly work for you, and maybe even kind of maybe how it can it, it won't work as well. So, but let me tell you about this feature called Fast Follow. So, what I would do is I'd go to the Help Center at Twitter. It kind of walks you right through it. Go to twitter.com/help. That's where I'm at right now. So I'm just going to type in Fast Follow, and it will take you to a screen. And it's usually the second article on the page. It's coming up right there. How to get updates on your phone without a Twitter account. This is the most intriguing part is that you don't even have to sign up for Twitter. So there are all those people who say, I don't want anything to do with Twitter. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't have time for it. Then you're going to give them an opportunity to get those updates. And so basically clicking on that gives you the step-by-step. -step. It's very simple. And it kind of walks you through the steps here. Uh, you send the word follow followed by the at symbol and then the username or the Twitter handle as it's often called uh, to a Twitter short code and, and if you click on this button it'll give you the like for instance if you're an AT&T phone it's a 4040404 number there's other numbers for uh, other accounts but most of them are going to be 40404 now it is so it'll go into the details of what you do and really it's very simple matter of fact here's a uh, screenshot of something that I found to, to show how this looks, somebody was trying to follow uh, Notify NYC, and this is basically, kind of, they do that, and it immediately, just like you would subscribe to somebody via text message, now you're subscribed to the tweets via text message. So it's very, very easy, very convenient to do. Now let me explain how we're going to use it. Because, obviously, the one way that I don't think it would work real well would be is if you are an active Twitter user on for your school and you're tweeting out articles all day long maybe five to ten times a day and you're sending all, all kinds of stuff you can imagine on the other end somebody you know it's one thing to follow you on Twitter and you to get that into or they to get that in their Twitter feed well you know they can filter through that pretty easy but if I'm getting it via text that may not be the kind of stuff I want to get ten texts a day from you and so that may not be something you want to promote but let me give you two examples where I think it could be interesting to use. A lot of schools have unique Twitter accounts for sports, all the athletic events. Think about if you're, I hope you are, considering that. I think it could be a real valuable tool for you to have a Twitter account that maybe tweets out the end of game reports on the volleyball team, the baseball team, the basketball team, the football team, and so on and so on. Or it could be that half got, I would not use this for play by play if you're doing that. Uh, score by score that could get a little bit uh, old as well but if you're doing this periodic updates you know uh, uh, certain scores then I think people who are not on Twitter who don't want to have to go on to the website and figure out how to find out what the volleyball score was on Thursday night they can get those updates via text and I think you can uh, promote that to them as a way to they don't even have to have a Twitter account to do it so I think that'd be one interesting way to engage people, show people that you want to give them the updates, still allows you to tweet out the scores via Twitter, and then those people who actually are on Twitter can follow your tweets and get them in their Twitter stream, but then others can get them via text. So then the other example I think could be even more practical would be using them as a communication device for emergencies or alerts, news alerts. So you might, again, have to create a separate Twitter handle for communicating certain events like this. Maybe it's a school closing, inclement weather, uh, some certainly a crisis of some sort, or maybe just a global announcement about the annual drive, fund drive starting or something like that. And this would be a chance for people to subscribe to those updates and get them via text message, but allows you the simplicity of using Twitter to send the messages out. People on Twitter can get them in their Twitter stream. Others can get them via text message. Really cool feature. Go check it out, twitter.com, and learn about fast follow.